I just got a new 3D printer. It's the P1S from Bamboo Lab. In this video I'll show you the unboxing and the process I had to go through to set it up for printing. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Just recently there's been an anniversary sale on Bamboo Lab store and I took advantage of it and got myself a second printer. Meet Bamboo Lab P1S. It's gonna be a great addition to the A1 that I already have. Now, why do I need a second printer? Well, in my personal opinion, there's always room for one more printer. But to be honest, now that I have two printers, I will be able to print more and faster, but also I will be able to print materials that the A1 cannot print, such as ABS, ASA or other materials that really require specific temperature of the surroundings. Today I want to show you the unboxing of the P1S and the process I had to go through to set it up for printing. That's quite big, let's open it up. The box that the printer came in was quite big, so I started unpacking it in my living room. I took the printer out of the box, then removed the plastic that it was in and then moved it into my office. I took the A1 out of the desk to make some space for the P1S and cleaned a bit before placing the printer on the tabletop. I peeled off the tapes that were securing the top glass plate in place removed it from the plastic that it was in and set it aside for now. Inside of the printer there was this cardboard cover that was holding in place this box with parts and accessories to the printer. When removing the styrofoam from the inside I've noticed that one of the zip ties that was holding the tool head already came loose during the shipment. I removed the other zip tie that was securing the tool head and the cardboard that was around it. According to the manual, next step is to install the filament spool holder, so let's look into the accessories box. Inside of the box there was a half of a spool of PLA Basic, PTFE tube, spool holder, power cable, screen for the printer, and a small box with spare parts and screws. I took the spool holder and installed it at the back of the printer with the dedicated screws. Now it was the time to peel off the securing tapes of the front glass door. And to remove the plastic that was covering the door. Now last thing to do before powering on the printer was to remove these screws that were holding the print bed during shipment and to install the screen. There was one thing that annoyed me here when I was peeling off the plastics. This plastic that was covering the microSD card slot left an annoying and ugly residue. And here you can see how I tried to take out the styrofoam from underneath the print pad. If only I have read the manual correctly I would have known that this only comes out once the printer is powered on and the print pad moves up. So if you're also setting up the P1S for the first time, watch out for this. Don't try to remove the styrofoam from underneath the print bed, just power it on and wait for the print bed to move up and then you can easily take the styrofoam out. After the printer was powered on, I had to go through a few quick setup steps and then the printer started the calibration. This took around 20 minutes and after it was done, the machine was ready for printing. Of course, the first thing I printed was the Benchy, which came out really nice, as you can see here. So as you've noticed, instead of the A1, the P1S is now on the desk, but that doesn't mean it's gonna stay there. Currently, my A1 is just left on the floor and I don't wanna leave it there. I will be making a separate table for one of the printers. I have not decided yet which one is gonna go on the table, but for sure you'll see it in future videos on this channel. I am really happy that I got this printer. I already printed some stuff as you can see now on the screen. For sure I will be using it for even more printing. So stay tuned for videos where I try to print for the first time some materials that I have never printed before. Together with the printer I've gotten some freebies. One was a lamp kit, which I would like to test for sure. Another one was a set of anti-vibration feet. I don't know for which models this fit, but I will figure it out and probably install it on one of the printers. Then I've gotten this, which is a set of T3 
tea lights but with the LEDs instead of a real flame. And also I received this Lithophane backlight board kit. I still have the freebies that I've gotten with the first 3D printer so I guess it's time to finally do something about it and maybe even use them in my own projects. That's it for this video, if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see how I tested 10 3D printed cat toys with my cat muffin click here. If you want to see some other video from my channel click here. That's it from me for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.